Hope your weekend was enough to get you through this dreary Monday. Until the sun returns, we here at WBONTV are going to give you the headlines you need to know for your daily afternoon news brief. This weekend, a Garrett County cave was the scene of the latest search for Savannah Spurlock, the missing mother of four from Richmond. Kentucky State Police, Garrett County Police, EMA, fire and rescue crews all gathered at a cave where a rescue member had to be lowered into a narrow cavern. Unfortunately, the search turned up empty handed. The court date in Estill County for the man accused of using his girlfriend's job as a teacher to send sexual messages to her students has been postponed. 35-year-old Torstein Torsteinson was supposed to appear before a judge today on charges relating to him messaging at least four girls inappropriately. His girlfriend, Estill Spanish teacher Sherry Murphy, helped delete the messages and according to investigators was well aware of the situation. Murphy will appear in court this month for attempting to interfere with the investigation along with other charges. Two people were charged with first degree promoting contraband in recent separate arrests. 24-year-old Roger Baker and 36-year-old Justin Morris were taken to the Madison County Detention Center. On separate occasions, both were asked if they had any drugs or items on them upon being booked and they denied having anything. Upon searching, officers found blue pills and powder substance in the front left pocket of Morris's pants and Morris stated that it was Viagra and he was charged. A cap needle was found in Baker's right pants pocket and he allegedly also hid a baggie filled with tobacco and a body cavity along with a baggie which appeared to have trace amounts of suspected methamphetamine residue. Both were charged for introducing the several dangerous contraband charges into the detention center. And this past weekend in Berea, the fifth annual Victory Garden Blitz took place, where 101 garden beds were installed across the county. The garden beds seek to help teach those either living in small urban areas or in rural parts of the county how to grow their own healthy, sustainable food. The volunteer-driven event could not have been accomplished, says Director Cheyenne Olson, without the help this year of 85 volunteers who showed up to build the beds and shovel dirt. The beds are sold on a sliding scale for those that are unable to normally afford the gardens. Olson, director of Sustainable Berea, the nonprofit that puts the weekend long event together this year, says that this could not have been done without the immense support of the community along with loyal sponsors. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.